perhaps some of you have been on holidays on top of mountains or on a ship in the middle of the ocean and looked up at the night sky. There you can see the Milky Way and for most people this is a very lasting impression and people ask how small is the Earth compared to the whole universe? Where does the stars come from? How will it end? How did it begin? Where does life come from? Nowadays we have physicists and astrophysicists who ask these questions, but these are as old as humanity. I'm one of these astrophysicists. My name is Susanne Pfalzner. I work at the Supercomputing Center, which is located at the Forschungszentrum Jülich in Germany. The Jülich Supercomputing Center supports astronomers and astrophysicists in this task to learn more about the universe. They help especially then when the local powers in computing at their institutions is too low. So for example for big data projects for the observers or when you have simulations which have to run on HPC computers. We have a sim and data lab astronomy and astrophysics which directly communicates with the researchers in this field and helps them, for example, to decide which code is best suited, which supercomputers is best suited for their code and how to install their code on the various machines. So at the Jülich Supercomputing Center, we not only support other researchers, but we do as well our own research. In my group, we are mainly interested in the formation of stars and planets. Stars and planets usually do not form in isolation like most people uh, assume, but they form in groups. So there's basically a kind of kindergarten of stars where the planets are formed around them. Here we see the young sun surrounded by the disk where the planets are forming from. And you'll see now from the bottom right the other star arriving. So this is another sun that disturbs this disk. So you see, this is a really violent action on the outer solar system. So these outer solar system objects can't stay on nice circular orbits. They are flung out far into the outer space, but they are still bound to the sun. This is not such a catastrophic event if you sit on Earth. We concentrate now what happened in the center. This is this turquoise region and you see it stays nicely calm. And we don't know when this flyby happened, whether the solar system already had formed or not. But if it had already formed, it would be completely undisturbed. 